Hello friends, how do you do? We welcome you in our Wilds Life channel. But before starting out today's journey, picture this. You are strolling through the wilderness, and suddenly, you encounter a creature that wouldn't be out of place in a David Cronenberg horror flick. It's the scorpion fly from the order Mechoptera, and it's enough to make even the bravest entomologists do a double take. But guess what? These spine-chilling wind nightmares are about as harmless to humans as a fluffy bunny. So, don't be too hard on yourself if your initial reaction looks like Edward Munch's The Scream. Now, let's dive into this world of weirdness, where the facts about scorpion flies are as bizarre as their appearance suggests. Not scorpions, not flies. Despite their misleading name, scorpion flies are neither scorpions nor flies. Yes, it's true. While these insects may look like flying, stinging death monsters, they actually don't have very much in common with flies or scorpions. In the insect kingdom, they belong to the order Mechoptera, which also includes hanging flies. Scorpions, on the other hand, are arachnids, belonging to the same group as spiders, while true flies are a different insect order altogether. This is a classic case of, looks can be deceiving. Their stingers are, well, not stingers. You'd be forgiven for thinking that those tail-like appendages on scorpion flies are some kind of fearsome stinger. But, here's the twist. They're actually male genitalia. These specialized structures serve a different purpose. The bulbous tip is meant to pinch down on the female to hold her in place, making copulation that much easier for the male. So male scorpion flies use them to grasp onto females during mating. So, instead of a weapon of defense, they're a tool of love, if you will. Forensic Detectives Creepy Helpers While it's well known that insects are drawn to decaying corpses, scorpion flies play a crucial role in forensic investigations. Homicide detectives rely on their presence to estimate the post-mortem interval, essentially how long a body has been deceased. Previously, it was thought that blue flies were the first to arrive at the grizzly buffet, laying eggs in cadavers mere minutes after death. However, further research unveiled that scorpion flies, not blue flies, are typically the initial scavengers on the scene. Understanding the order in which insects colonize bodies helps investigators build precise timelines of decomposition. Additionally, studying the feeding habits of various insects can help distinguish wounds caused by criminal activity from those inflicted by scavengers, aiding in solving crimes. In essence, these eerie insects are unwitting allies in the pursuit of justice. Terrifying Elongated Mandibles The nightmarish appearance of scorpion flies doesn't stop at their peculiar tail appendages. Their faces are equally unsettling. What sets them apart are their serrated, elongated mandibles. These menacing mouth parts are perfectly adapted for tearing into flesh and devouring their prey. They can pierce through the exoskeletons of insects or burrow into the soft flesh of their victims. Picture something straight out of a horror movie. These mandibles are their gruesome utensils for survival. They're not picky eaters. Scorpion flies aren't exactly the pickiest eaters in the insect world. Their dining preferences range from human corpses to insects, fruit, pollen, nectar, and even each other's saliva. During mating, males often present females with gifts of food, a tactic used to woo their potential partners. Some cunning males, however, have figured out how to deceive their rivals by mimicking an aroused female to score a free meal. This bizarre dietary flexibility highlights their adaptation to a wide range of food sources in their habitats. Hold on to your skin, because scorpion flies don't shy away from human interaction. They've been spotted sipping on human sweat when they need a quick refreshment. So, not only are they creepy, but they're also thirsty for some salty human perspiration. Elusive Little Monsters Certain species of scorpion flies, like the Florida scorpion fly, have mastered the art of evading scientists. Researchers have struggled to locate them in the wild, resulting in speculation about their rarity or potential extinction. However, photographic evidence from 2010 confirmed that these elusive creatures are still out there. Their talent for hiding in the dense undergrowth of North Florida's forests keeps them well off the radar of most observers. 
Global Domination Scorpion flies might not be the most diverse group of insects, but they are remarkably widespread. They've staked a claim on almost every continent on Earth, with the notable exception of Antarctica. While they often inhabit the fringes of dense forests, they can also be found in a diverse array of ecosystems and biomes, proving that their unsettling presence knows no bounds. The Flea Connection Intriguingly, scorpion flies and fleas may share a common ancestor. Studies suggest that fleas, despite their much smaller size, could be a highly specialized lineage of Mechoptera, the order to which scorpion flies belong. Unlike scorpion flies, fleas have forsaken wings but compensated with powerful legs that allow them to leap great distances in a single bound. The Ultimate Makeover Scorpion flies go through an astonishing transformation from their initial caterpillar-like larval stage to their final, unsettling adult form. As larvae, they resemble caterpillars and dwell in the soil on the forest floor. Here, they feed on decaying organic matter, demonstrating their omnivorous tendencies by devouring dead insects, rotting leaves, and whatever other organic debris they can find. When it's time to undergo metamorphosis, they burrow deep into the earth. Upon emerging, they have transformed into the fully-fledged, nightmarish adult scorpion flies we know. It's a metamorphosis worthy of any horror movie, and these creatures are the masters of their own macabre makeover. Well, there you have it, fellow thrill-seekers, the remarkable world of scorpion flies, where reality is far stranger than fiction. We've uncovered 10 mind-bending secrets about these eerie insects, from their deceptive appearances to their truly bizarre mating rituals. Who knew that a creature could be simultaneously terrifying and utterly fascinating? If you've been captivated by the mysteries of the natural world, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more or inspiring revelations, and ring that notification bell, because you won't want to miss our next deep dive into the bizarre and bewildering. Until then, stay curious, stay thrilled, and keep exploring the weird and wonderful world around us. Thanks for joining us on this creepy crawly adventure. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.